Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back on another video. This one's going to be about seven signs that witchcraft is attacking you. And before I start this video, I want to be saying also witchcraft could be attacking you. Divination could be attacking you from you opening doors. Uh, maybe you're out ghost seeking a medium. Uh, you're playing with tarot cards. Uh, you're watching, you know, stuff that correlates and links to witchcraft. Okay, when you're watching this type of stuff, remember TV, people are warned about, warned about like CERN and stuff like that, right? But your TV is a portal. Your uh, your cell phone is a portal. Okay, your laptop is a portal. Okay, so what you're watching could open doors into your house. Also, if you have objects like witchcraft objects in your house, okay, um, who knows? That's like you guys go buy your little crystals, right? A witch. You went to the the witch shop or whatever place you go to buy those crystals, right? And a witch puts a spell on it, and now you you bring that object into your house. Okay, now it's spiritual warfare is torn up. So this is why you must be. Any type of occult I, uh, objects in your house, guys, just throw it away. And best believe when you throw away that stuff, guys, you're going to get attacked. Satan's going to attack. The demons are going to get mad. The spirit of divination is going to turn up. There's a good movie called D Divination. I think it's on Tubi. Um, Tubi is a free like movie streaming uh, uh, website, whatever. It, I'm not getting paid to promote this, but it's a really good movie. It's two couples. They're married. And... Um, they, uh, the wife has a, um, some girl coming. I won't ruin the movie she has, but pretty much like she was, start, she started doing witchcraft and her friends like leading her astray and the husband's getting attacked. They're all getting attacked. So it's a really good movie. So let's get a list. Go. All right. Number one, you're getting attacked by witchcraft guys is confusion. Also, this is also my experience too, as well. I want to say that before too. Confusion. Okay. I remember when I was first being called out of darkness, when God was calling me to become a chosen one, right? I started following angel numbers. Okay. Uh, angel numbers is not of God. There's nowhere in the Bible that talks about angel numbers. Of course, there is a book in the Bible called Numbers, but I was more being led by what these angel numbers were, right? And like, if you go on like Google, it shows you what the numbers mean. And like the, none of that correlates with the Bible. And all that leads to confusion because the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. So I'd be questioning time to time, is this of God? Is this not of God? And if I ever have to question something that's confusion okay and even the, there's an angel number called 666 which is just dumb. that's how i knew guys like, I'm, I'm not looking at them no more and the minute when the minute i stopped looking at these angel numbers right and then they started to pop up more okay it started to pop up more i started to pay you know the 222-444 telling you guys all that is confusion okay we must focus on the word the word of god okay god is not the author of confusion all right so that's one thing i noticed i get when you get attacked by confusion you know, and that was because I was closing the doors of witchcraft, whatever doors I was opening. Okay, you could be you could be with a Jezebel spirit, which is a witch. Okay, and Jezebel spirit is a man is is a spirit, so it works through man and woman. You could just be in a relationship with them, and now you got to fight that witchcraft spirit off on you. Okay, or like your boyfriend, your girlfriend, so or like a family member. It goes deep, man. Number two is that you have a hard time paying attention. Okay, there's demonic strongholds. Okay, it's attacking, and like I said, you start to read your Bible, right? You're reading your Bible and you get sleepy. Um, like you're, you're losing pace or you're losing track of where you're at. Okay. These are all attacks. Okay. The demons don't want you to know the word of God. The demons want you to stray away from it because once you equip yourself with the word of God, the sword of the spirit, you can now fight back against those attacks. You cannot fight back against those demons. Okay. You have the armor on the armor in the most high. Okay. So I noticed that when I was first coming to the truth, guys, like I'm telling you, I'll be wide awake. I started to read my Bible. I'm getting sleepy. I'm yawning a lot. Um, I'm losing, I'm losing. I'm not, it's hard for me to pay attention. I'm like, what the heck? Like, if I were to read a regular book, it'd be perfectly fine. But once I start to read the Bible, now I'm having a hard time. So you got to pay attention to the signs. Okay, number three is you got fear. Okay, one thing I noticed about witchcraft, right, is that when they when, when you start getting attacked by witchcraft, you start to get, be, become fearful. You, you know, and the Bible says this is why the word of God is how you combat. How did Jesus how did Jesus defeat the devil, guys? How did he, how did how did he defeat these devils and these demons, right? By the word of God. Every time Satan tempted him. Okay, remember God doesn't tempt, doesn't uh, tempt us. So that's who else tempts us? It's the devil. Okay, when Satan was tempting Jesus, he fought back by the word of God. What does the Bible say about fear? Now, there's many scriptures that talk about fear, but one in particular says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and sound mind. Okay, so once you understand the power of the Holy Spirit, there's no need to operate in it. For you understand, you will destroy the witchcraft. You could pray against the witchcraft, and that's what we need to be doing. Whenever you're getting attacked by witchcraft, guys, you gotta start start praying. Praying against, praying against that, that any spells that's being casted in you, or maybe maybe you might have occult objects in your house, pray and ask God, you know, God, what do you want me to remove? Okay, maybe you have an object that was by your ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend that you're no longer with, just throw it away. Maybe you have um, some crystals, okay? You have your tarot cards still. You haven't thrown that away. You have the, the Uji boards. I forgot how to say that, but those Uji boards, those all it's all portals to open doors for demons. Okay? I'm telling you, 
This is a spiritual warfare, okay? So always understand that. It's fear. When you get attacked by fear a lot, you're fearful. Understand that God, that's not, the, that's not a godly spirit. That's not a righteous spirit. That's not of God. You're getting attacked, okay? Number four is, ooh, random aches and body pains. Yes, guys. I had a video. I made this about like a week ago. I, was, I talked about I was attacked by a demon. And um, I was I was doing cardio with my wife, walking perfectly fine. Everything is going good. You know, I, I was just, I just got done finishing off a video exposing Satan's army, like I always do. And, you know, just like how I attacked the kingdom of darkness, how I attacked the kingdom of Satan, and I'm setting the captives free, waking them up, Satan's going to attack me too. It's a war. <laughs> okay, when you go into war, when you're in a war, you're not going to go in touch. Satan's going to attack you, and you're going to attack him back. Okay? So I was walking, right, just right, you know, we think we walked like three miles, or two, three miles, something like that. I was perfectly fine. As we're walking back to the car, I get sharp pain on my leg. Like I was like literally limping, guys, like not making this up, literally limping. And then within like three, four minutes, the pain just randomly goes away. Like, I mean, I'm telling you guys, I could barely walk. I was limping. And then like three, four minutes away, I'm perfectly fine. These are attacks, man. When you get random pains or like in your stomach, when you get like random pains in your stomach, or like, you, or like I remember when I gave up smoking weed for the first time in 2018, and literally within the same day, I think it was a couple hours later, like I got like sharp pain in my head, like something was pounding my head. It was a demon pounding my head, okay? And like I said, I was smoking, all that is sorcery. That's all linked to witchcraft too. So I'm telling you, when you give up the witchcraft, you're gonna get the sorcery, okay, the divination, you're gonna get attacked. Those demons are gonna get pissed off because those demons wanna keep you in darkness. Those demons can't dwell within the clean temple. Those who have the Holy Spirit in them, they only can dwell in someone who's being disobedient. It's only dwelling with someone who's living life of willful sin. So when you try to break free from that, you could expect, you could expect the random aches, the random pains. You could expect the fear. You could expect the confusion. You could expect the hard time of pain and change. You could expect it, bro. Those demons are going to be mad because those demons see that you're being set free. And how are you being set free? By the word of God, by the son, Jesus Christ, by the most high God. Okay. So always understand that. Number five is, um, oh, also sometimes too. It's not only in your stomach or it's not like only it hits your head with like random headaches. Um, it could also be anywhere throughout your body. So you have been saying that. But I noticed like definitely like when you get hit with your stomach or like just random pain throughout your body. So it's not just a particular part. Okay, so I just want to say that. So number five is you feel no one cares about you and you start getting those suicidal thoughts. You'll feel like no one cares about you. You'll feel like, oh, God doesn't love you. Um, no one loves you. Guys, this is all, these are all attacks. These are all attacks. And, and you start to get those suicidal thoughts that creep in. Because what do the demons want you to do? To kill yourself. <laughs> what does Satan want Jesus to do? To kill himself. He told Jesus, what he, what he told Jesus? Go jump off a bridge. Or the, go jump off the cliff, whatever it was. You know, go kill yourself. Okay, the demons want you to kill yourself too. So always understand that. Whenever you feel like no one cares about you and those suicidal thoughts start to pop up. Okay, depression, all that. Understand that could be an attack of witchcraft. Okay. Now it could also be um, a form of, you know, God judgment because when Judas hanged himself, when he killed himself, okay, um, that was Josh's judgment. And it's like God put a spear on him for him to do that because what he did to the, the anointed, what he did to the chosen one. Okay. Number six is you will feel like you are being watched, stalked, and you will think that you're going crazy and losing your mind. Let me talk about this real quick too. Let me talk about this real quick too with gang stalking, right? Okay. When you're being gang stalked, a lot of people look at the gang stalking stuff. Now it's real, but a lot of people, they look at it in a carnal aspect, in the physical aspect. They can't see past the physical realm. So me being the messenger, I'll inform you. Okay. Gang stalking is evil spirits. It's all linked to demonic spirits working through people to get to you. Okay. And sometimes a lot of people have, they're under the spell of witchcraft. So they think that people are stalking and people are watching and people are monitoring them. Now, don't, don't get it wrong. There are monitoring spirits, but sometimes you could feel like everyone just around you is a stalking. Everyone's monitoring you, which is not the truth. That's what these certain spirits do. Okay. Certain spirits will do that. And they'll cause you to make you feel like this person's the enemy. This person hates me. This person's against me. The whole time that person maybe has your best interests at heart. Okay, you don't even know the person. Maybe that person wants, you know, if you were in need of help, that person would have helped you. But you're out here thinking that this person is stalking me, this person is harassing me, and they haven't done anything to you. Okay, that could be a form of witchcraft. That's That could be a form of witchcraft. And also, you know, you will think you're going crazy and losing your mind. Yep, you will think you're going crazy and losing your mind. And, you know, that could also lead to, you know, suicidal. You think you're going crazy, losing your mind. No one understands you. No one wants to listen to you. No one cares for you. All right, these are all attacks. You must acknowledge these attacks. And like I said, when you acknowledge these attacks, you got to fight back. Okay, you got to put on the armor of the Most High on, man.
Number seven is forgetting the power of God, forgetting the power of the Holy Spirit, which correlates to number three with fear. Okay. Like I said, God doesn't give us the spirit of fear. Once you understand that you have the power, like once you understand you have the power of the Holy Spirit, when the Bible even says in Acts chapter one, verse eight, and then you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Okay. Once you understand the authority you have with Christ, the authority you have with the Holy Spirit, what's a witch? What's a wizard? Anything they try to cast on you is going right back to them. Even by, the Bible says when you keep God's commandments, anything that your enemy does, they, anything that, to destroy, to hurt you, will, they'll be destroyed. They'll be destroyed. So once you understand that, when you're being obedient, when you're honoring God, okay, when you, when you have Christ in your life, when you have the Holy Spirit, there's you don't have to be afraid of a witch. You don't have to be afraid of a wizard. Yes, they're going to try to attack you, but best believe all attacks is going to backfire right on them. Okay, no witch can come against the Holy Spirit, but see, they come against those who are walking in darkness. Those, those are their, their targets because they understand that they don't have God. God's not with them. The Holy Spirit isn't dwelling with them. So I could, you know, or maybe uh, God's grace, I mean, God doesn't have grace for them. Okay, maybe, maybe they're being disobedient. Maybe they, you know, they blasphemed against God. I don't know. Okay, but sometimes they, the, the witches and stuff like that, when they see someone's walking in darkness, they got no protection. They don't got the armor of God on. So they could easily be attacked and they could, you know, be destroyed. There's many witches and wizards out here, guys, warlocks, who sent many people to the grave because they weren't walking with God. Then they have the armor of God on, okay? And they fell into their snail, uh, their snare and, you know, got destroyed, okay? Jezebel spirit. So always understand this, guys, the seven signs of witchcraft is attacking you. Number one is confusion. Number two is a hard time paying attention. Number three is fear. Number four is random aches and body pains. Number five is you feel no one cares about you and you start to get those suicidal thoughts. Number six is you will feel like you are being watched and stalked. And you'll think that you're going crazy and losing your mind. Number seven is forgetting the power of God and the Holy Spirit. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, smash the like button, share this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.